as one who cons at evening for an album all alone, and muses on the faces of the friends that he has known. So I turn the leaves of fancy till, in shadowy design, I find the smiling features of an old sweetheart of mine. The lamplight seems to glimmer with a flicker of surprise as I turn it low to rest me of the dazzle in my eyes and light my pipe in silence. Save a sigh that seems to yoke its fate with my tobacco and to vanish into smoke. Tis a fragrant retrospection for the loving thoughts that start into being are like perfume from the blossoms of the heart. And to dream the old dreams over is a luxury to find when my truest fancy wanders with that old sweetheart of mine. Though I hear beneath my study, like the fluttering of wings, the voices of my children and the mother as she sings, I feel no twinge of conscience to deny me any theme when care has cast her anchor in the harbor of a dream. In fact, to speak in earnest, I believe it adds a charm to spice the good and trifle with a little dust of heart, for I find an extra flavor in memory's mellow wine that makes me drink the deeper to that old sweetheart of mine. A face of lily beauty with a form of airy grace floats out of my tobacco as the genii from the base. And I thrill beneath the glances of a pair of azure eyes as glowing as the summer and as tender as the sky. I can see the pink sunburn and the little checkered dress she wore when first I kissed her. And she answered the caress with the written declaration that as surely as the vine grew round the stump, she loved me, that old sweetheart of mine. And again I feel the pressure of her slender little hand as we used to talk together of the future we had planned, when I should be a poet, and with nothing else to do but write the tender verses that she set the music to, when we should live together in a cozy little cot hid in a nest of roses, with a fairy garden spot, where the vines were ever fruited, and the weather ever fine, and the birds were ever singing for that old sweetheart of mine, when I should be her lover forever and a day, and she my faithful sweetheart till her golden hair was gray, and we should be so happy that when either's lips were dumb, they would not smile in heaven till the other's gifts had come. But ah, uh, my dream is broken by a step upon the stair, and the door is softly opened, and my wife is standing there. Yet with eagerness and rapture, all my visions I resign to greet the living presence of that old sweetheart of mine.